All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So with the five year anniversary on Global literally right around the corner, in fact, I think we're just over a month away from the beginning of the countdown campaign. So there's gonna be one mini celebration in between for June and then we're jumping right in to the five year anniversary. So since we're so close, there's been one question that I've been getting asked many, 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 many times on my recent streams, videos, social media, so on and so forth. And that question is how many free Dragonstones can us global players expect during the five year celebration? So in today's video, I'm gonna try my best to answer this question for you and give you a rough estimate, a rough tally of the expected stones. Now, of course, in order to do this, we're gonna be referencing the JP side and their five year anniversary. So do keep in mind that there could be a few changes that happen when it comes to Global's celebration, but for the most part, it will be exactly the same. Okay, so, oh, real quick, before I jump into it, I wanna give a shout out to the Dokkan Wiki for giving us this amazing breakdown because it makes making this video just much, much easier, and I don't take any credit for the information we're about to go through, okay? So, I guess the first thing I'll say is that for anybody that doesn't know, the uh, anniversary, the campaign will be broken down into four parts. There's the countdown, which is the lead up to the actual anniversary, and then there's part one, part two, and then a part three as well, all right? So, starting with the countdown, which will be probably happening at the beginning of July or end of June, we got 10 stones for the daily login bonus, 20 stones for a comeback campaign, which was based on the number of players that come back to Dokkan, uh, like inactive players that come back to Dokkan during this period. And if we hit a certain goal, then everybody gets 20 dragon stones. But usually they set it up in a way where you're pretty much guaranteed to hit the goal. So 20 dragon stones there, and then a social media campaign for 41 dragon stones. And I think this was a Twitter campaign for them, but for us, it's most likely going to be in the form of some kind of a Facebook campaign. Of course, the stones could be a little bit different, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but in total, they got 71 stones for the countdown. All right, now, going into part one, and this is definitely the biggest contributor of dragon stones for the entire celebration. Starting off, we have 41 dragon stones for the initial login bonus. So basically, the first time you log into the game during the beginning of part one or just the celebration, I guess. We got 45 dragon stones. And then there was the login bonus for the entire celebration, which added up to 136. And then also basically this is the first day. And then this was for the dailies. All right, from then on. And after that, we have the special missions for part one, which gave a total of 11 stones, which is not a lot, but we do have part two and part three missions as well, right? And then we had the daily missions for 32 stones. That's, of course, cumulative across uh, all the days. And then there was a new boss rush, which, of course, we're still missing boss rush 10 or 35 stones for your first clear. And then after that, we have the Frieza Army Entrance Exam mission. So this was a new mission or a new uh, event that was introduced for the five-year anniversary, which is kind of like... It was kind of like a punching bag style event where you had to bring different teams to try to nuke the event to do as much damage as possible. If you, if you cleared all the missions with each of the different teams you needed, then you get 35 stones in total for all the missions. And after that, there was the Project Zero Mortal story event, which is uh, the one where you can farm the STR Zamasu that eventually becomes LR Goku Black. So for completing the actual stages, it was six stones. And then for completing the missions, at least in part one, it was three more stones for a total of nine stones there. And then they introduced a new infinite Dragon Ball uh, history stage. And I believe this was for the Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, movie themed one so one stone there for completing the actual stage and then 30 stones for completing all the missions associated with that stage after that we had another new story event the three saints driven by fate story event which of course is the one where we were able to farm the free to play uh kid broly as well as kid raditz and vegeta so six stones there for completing the actual stages and then two stones for completing the missions. And then after that, we had the Dokkan events, of course, for the new Vegito Blue, 
the new blue Gogeta, uh, two difficulties, four total stages for four stones there, and then a top grossing of 30 stones. This live stream is a little bit iffy because obviously we don't typically get live streams for anniversaries on global, but but now that we have this Dokkan Now thing, I think we might still get these stones just for a new Dokkan Now that happens around that time. So we'll have to see. I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, that we do get at least some stones for some kind of like a hype up, you know, like a Dokkan Now, or maybe they'll do a live stream this time, who knows, but uh, we might get these stones. Maybe not though, we'll see, okay? So after that, they got a big top grossing of 100 stones, all right? And I know some people are going to be like, yo, there's no way we're going to get that, man. JP got 100 stones, but they're going to give us like 7 stones on Global. But if you actually look at the 4-year anniversary, so here we're on the 4-year anniversary breakdown, and Global actually got the 100 stone top grossing last year. So I'm pretty hopeful. Um, obviously, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta were hype, but Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegeta are way more hype than these guys, in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of a lot of people out there, right? So I think, you know, as far as this top grossing goes, we will also get that 100 stone top grossing too. So that's 100 stones right there and uh, 10 stones for this electrolyte campaign. So this was kind of a community campaign where we had to just complete um, certain requirements like uh, X number of stages cleared or X number of stamina used, X number of units awakened and so on and so forth. And once we completed all those steps, then we get 10 stones in total. And then there was a new uh, virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, of course, so 10 stones or Battlefield. So 10 stones for the com completing each of the stages and then 30 stones for completing the missions. So once everything was said and done for part one, uh, they got a total of 500 and 85 stones and when we look at global there's nothing really here that i don't think we would get i mean maybe we'll miss out on like these 30 stones for the extra top grossing or maybe we will miss out on this live stream thing possibly like i said though i do think they'll give us something for possibly a dokkan now because last year around the five year anniversary dokkan now wasn't a thing yet right as far as I can remember, I don't think there was a Dokkan now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it came later. So yeah, maybe we'll get a Dokkan now, get some stones there. Um, but yeah, I expect to get the campaign. Of course, all the stories, uh, the new events should be you know, the same. Uh, so yeah, for the most part, we should be getting around 500, maybe 585 stones for part one, which like I said, is the majority of the stones we're getting for this anniversary. But moving on to part two. Uh, we got some new special missions, 12 stones in total for part 2 special missions, and then we got some more stages added. More stages added to the Zero Project Zero Mortal story event, so 6 stones for completing the new stages, as well as 3 more stones for completing the missions. And then we got some new stages added to the 3 Saiyans Driven by Fate story event, 4 stones for completing the stages, and then 2 stones for completing the new missions. And then there was a new Extreme Z area to Extreme Z Awaken, the free to play kid broly and also the free to play kid uh vegeta and raditz and for completing the actual events we got four stones and then two more stones for the missions and then we had another campaign the dragon ball search campaign which i think was similar to the electrolyte campaign where it was just a community event where uh we had to complete x number of missions or extreme z awaken x number of times so on and so forth once we completed everything together, we got 10 stones for that. And uh, yeah, part two only gave a paltry 43 stones, which is kind of sad, but uh, part three, did they say part two or part three? Part two, kind of sad, 43 stones, but part three makes up for it a little bit. Okay, so once we get into part three, there was uh, more special missions, 21 stones this time for completing all the special missions. And then we also had a uh, Through the Light of Hope Good Luck Trunks campaign, which is once again another community campaign. Um, I think actually this one was specifically for the new Extreme Z area for the LR Goku Black. And uh, once we completed the Extreme Z area a certain number of times, we completed all the missions and got 15 stones there. And then there was the Golden Weekend missions, which we do get on Global from time to time, so I don't see why we wouldn't get it around this time as well. 21 stones in total for completing all the Weekend missions. And then after that, there was a new Extreme Z area for the LR Goku Black to Extreme Z Awaken him. 
and uh, it's one for one stone for completing the actual event, six stones for completing all the missions. I'm assuming it's for her. Like the missions are related to, you know, fully extreme Z awakening him, right? And then after that, there was a new, a new infinite Dragon Ball history as well for part three. And this one was for the, I think, future Trunk Saga um, story, right? So it's it's themed around that. You had like Trunks, you had Zamasu, so on and so forth as the enemies. And uh, just like all the other stages, it's one stone for completing the actual event and then 30 stones for completing all the missions. And then at the end of the anniversary, there was a little thank you gift, just like, you know, a thank you for a great celebration for another 30 stones. And part three gave a total of 125 stones. So once everything was said and done, JP had received from the entire celebration, uh, the countdown, part one, part two, and part three all added together. 824 dragon stones now this this final tally this final total of course could change for global as i did mention in the beginning of this video but it might be pretty close it might be pretty close i wouldn't be surprised if global got around 800 maybe a little bit less let's say like 750 i'll give you guys a range all right so let's say it's like 750 to 850 somewhere in that area is what we can expect for the five-year anniversary on global all right and uh, once again for the you know thank you gift at the end we also got that last year um, actually for last year we got the exact same top grossing stuff right so we got the 100 stones we got the 30 stones and we got another 30 stones for part uh, two so 160 stones in total for basically thank you slash a top grossing and JP got that this year for their six year anniversary or five year anniversary <laughs> getting ahead of myself there five year anniversary and uh, there you go, guys. That is the rough expected amount for this upcoming anniversary. The good amount of stones. Not as good as last year, actually. Uh, if you look at last year, we had, let's see, 936 stones. So yeah, not as good as last year, but still pretty decent. About 100 stones less. I'll take it. I'll take it. This is just for one month, by the way. This entire celebration goes basically from the beginning of July to the beginning of August, right? So in one month, 824 free stones. It's generous, man. It's good. So and that's the video, guys. Hopefully this uh, answered the questions of uh, a lot of you guys, and hopefully I'll get the question a little bit less on my upcoming streams and videos. But if you guys still want to ask, then I'll just give you the answer that I have here, 824. And uh, hopefully this just gives you a little bit more insights about where all these stones are actually coming from, right? So uh, that's the video, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are hyped for the anniversary. I definitely am. I will have a lot of stones ready. I'll be doing a lot of summons, a lot of streams, all that good stuff. So stay tuned, my friends. All right, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.